Hey, what's going on guys? This is Brian with Comic Book Speculation and Investing. I'm here today to talk to you about the top 10 comics that are heating up in the secondary market. So, get your pencil and paper ready because we're about to go to class. Starting with number 1, we have Batman number 655. This is the 1 in 10 Adam Kubert variant. It's not a rare book by any stretch of the imagination. Damon Wayne cameo has surpassed the $100 raw barrier. It's on everyone's long-term hold list, and it appears that people are picking these up and stashing them. I don't think this is ever going to see that $25 mark that they were going for earlier in the year. Moving on to number two, we have Venom Space Knight number 11. This is the 1 in 25 Sandoval variant. Amazingly, the print run for this title only jumped 10% even with retailers knowing the variant was going to be offered. There's only a few of these on eBay at the moment, and sales have already cracked the $100 mark. So this one looks like it's going to have staying power for a while. Number three, we have Miss Marvel number two. This is the 1 in 50 Jorge Molina variant. There's a slow burner when it came out, but it's now reaching $500 raw sales. Good thing about taking this long to heat up is that most likely it isn't going to drop much in value and it's going to stay at this price. At number four, we have the Harley Quinn Gabriel Dorado pink variant. Now people say there's only 800 of these printed, but... No one really knows for sure, and no one's going to know how much were printed extra to cover damaged books that were shipped. So we're estimating that it's probably about a thousand of these. But print run or not, these things are actually selling close to a thousand dollars and graded 9.8 right now. But the good question is, do we think this is better than the Adam Hughes Harley Quinn number one? Time will tell, and the market will decide. Number five, we have the Silk Volume Two Number Twelve. This is the 1 in 15 cosplay variant. Got to hand it to Marvel. They did these before. They were horrible. They did them again this year. Most of them are horrible. But this Silk and then the Scarlet Witch one, they're tending to do well on the market right now. And shout out to Mel V because he called it. And he's expect to pay $25 to $30 for a copy of this one. At number 6, we have Indestructible Hulk Special number 1. This is the 1 in 50 J. Scott Campbell variant. Here's a fact for you. Our own Jason S. Can't say his last name because I'll butcher the crap out of it. But he pointed this book out and for a good damn reason. There's a sub 1000 print run on this and it's a J. Scott Campbell variant which just spells money. So if you see these and you can find them cheap, go ahead and pick yourself up one even though the color is ugly as dog shit. At number 7 we have Cable and Deadpool number 50. Looks like the market has spoken, boys and girls, and they're choosing this issue to be the first appearance of Venom Pool. It was a $20 book a few weeks ago. Now it's hitting $50. it has got a relatively pr low print run, right around $23,000, which is considerably low for Marvel. So if you see these, snatch them up while you can. Number 8, we have Catwoman, Volume 3, Number 51. This is the Adam Hughes cover with Catwoman getting her mugshot taken on the front. This seems to be the most beloved cover for the Adam Hughes Catwomans. It was staggering around 50 bucks for a while, but it slowly creeped up to that $100 mark. Also, if you're going to pick up this cover, you should be buying number 70 and 74 as well, because they are dirt cheap, and they're just as good. At number 9, we have Deadpool, Back in Black number 1. This is the Tyler Kirkham sketch variant from KRS Comics. Print run is going to be about 1500 on these. It's already sold out. Yes, it's not released yet. Yes, it was a pre-sale. Just save your butt hurt because it's hot and it's going on our top 10. Right now, these are pre-selling on eBay for up $70. But watch this one because it might get overlooked once the Del Auto Venom covers get released. And at number 10, we have 7 to Eternity number 1. It's sold out at Diamond. It's sold out at Midtown. Additional prints have already been ordered and this is just the first week of release. Story Snobbis looks like it's another Space Odyssey, and no one wants to apparently to be left out because it could be the next saga. Thanks for the info on this, Demijick. So hey, we might be done with the Hot 10, but we're not going to leave you there. We got two Honorable Mention comics for you. First Honorable Mention, Uncanny X-Men Volume 1, number 525. This is the 1 in 25 David Finch variant. X-23 is a good combination with Finch. This one's been moving for about $30. Had a slow sale going in August, but it's starting to pick up steam. Right now, there's only one on eBay. So if you see them, pick them up. 
Second honorable mention we have for you is Justice League of America, Volume 2, Number 45. This is the 1 in 10 David Mack variant. The book on this was selling for about $10 a few weeks ago, but now we're seeing multiple sales in the $25 $30 range. This also might be the second best Supergirl cover after Legion of Superheroes number 23, Adam Hughes variant. So if you see these, snatch them up. So that's going to wrap up our hot 10 for this week. If you guys like what you see, we invite you to like the video, comment with your comments because we'd love to hear from you, and subscribe to our channel. And as always, be on the lookout for more videos like this and other types. Class dismissed.